good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told I had a voice for radio, so today we are looking at Resha Ram GX. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we started today talking about a fancy new Fire Prism star, and we're finishing today, unless some other big news comes out, in which case third video inevitable, although it is my mum's birthday. Happy birthday, mum! So I'm hoping we can stick at two videos, so if Pokemon could wait till tomorrow to reveal any more big news, that would be lovely. And if anyone wants to drop a happy birthday to my mum in the comment section, I'll show her later. I'm sure she'll be delighted. But we're finishing off today talking about Reshiram GX, a card that we kind of had a bit of a look at earlier on when we had a blurry half translation. But today, the lovely Autobot Tesla over on Twitter has brought us a full translation. We know what it does, and it's not a perfect card. But it's a very interesting card indeed. Now, starting off being a fire Pokemon, we got lots of advantages. It's a basic Pokemon, so Volcanian EX can use Steam Up to add a bit of damage. We've got Volcanium which has got Power Heater to accelerate some energy. We can combo with Scorched Earth, the Stadium card, to draw some extra cards. We've always got Flint, which allows you to search, or we will by the time this comes out, because it's in Dragon Storm as well. I've done a video about that link in the description. Allows you to search for four basic fire energy. You can even use the promo Lorantis here to just do 20 more damage for all of your attacks. Although I mentioned the promo Lorantis, I've mentioned it a few times lately. It's not going down brilliantly. Because let's face it, for basic fire Pokemon, Volcanion EX is just better. But being a fire Pokemon's actually really good. You're hitting grass weakness against Pokemon like Golisopod, while also hitting weakness against Pokemon that are metal type like Solgaleo. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot of fun indeed. Now, in terms of the basics here, you got 180 HP, which is very high. But then again, that is standard for basic GXs at the moment. Retreat cost of 2 is the worst in the game. And weakness to water. It's alright. It's not terrible. I still think Empoleon's going to be pretty good. And maybe Greninja GX when it comes out is going to be pretty good. Although that is the GX at the moment I am most undecided about. I really can't decide if I think it's going to be good or not. But it's the attacks we're really worried about. What do they do? First attack. Zero energy. Search your deck for two fire energy and attach them to this Pokemon for a single energy. Now, that does mean you could, I suppose, put it into any deck at all. Just play a few random fire energy and search them out and attach them with the first attack. And it does give you a nice turn one attack. You go second, attach an energy, and then you start turn two with free energy on there, at which point you can attach a fourth and then you're ready to go turn two doing the big attack. The problem is, I've never been terribly fond of attacks like this, because what you essentially do is you put the energy on the Pokemon, and then you leave it in the active, and you let your opponent get a hit. And that's not ideal. If you go second here, that means your opponent goes first, and then they will be able to attack turn two. So maybe a Zoroark comes up and hits you for 120. Or maybe you're against an Empoleon deck and they just get a straight one-hit KO. Or maybe you're against something like a Gardevoir deck. A Gardevoir deck will be able to use Infinite Force. And Infinite Force does 30 more damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon. So this first attack of yours will basically just mean that Gardevoir does an extra 60 damage. Now, obviously, if you see a Gardevoir on the table opposite you, you don't use this attack. But the point I'm making is there's just too many times where this attack is not ideal. It's fine in an emergency, and if you're really drawing nothing, then getting two fire energy from your deck will reduce your deck size by two, and it will increase the probability that you draw into the card you want to draw into. But generally speaking here, this is a kind of occasional slash emergency attack. It's not amazing. Second attack, though, lots more fun. Free fire energy, one colorless, 110 damage. The defending Pokemon is now burned, which means that it doesn't do 110. It actually does 130. And then, of course, your opponent flips a coin. If Tails are still burned, then at the end of their turn, they take an extra 20. Thing is, 4 energy for 130 is not in and of itself particularly amazing. It's a little bit expensive. Now, along with all the other fire tricks we've got, we can use Kiawe. And Kiawe will allow you to just get all 4 energy on this in one go. But the thing is, if you're using Kiawe, you've basically got to have a better Pokemon than Ho-Oh GX. 
Because Ho OGX is already a great partner for Kiawe. So you might as well just use Ho O unless Reshiram is better. And initially speaking, this 4 energy attack I don't think is better. Now, of course, you've got Volcanium, which means you can do extra damage here. But Ho-Oh can do 210 just using a Choice Band without having to rely on Volcanium EX. Volcanium EX is an EX, which means the ability will be turned off by Glaceon which is not ideal. It's a basic Pokemon, meaning the ability will be turned off by Alolan Muck, which is not ideal. And then even if the ability is not turned off, you've got to have the fire energy in your hand. So I don't know this attack is amazing because most of the time you'd be better off using Ho-Oh. Now, the good news is you can use this attack turn after turn, unlike Ho-Oh. And the good news is this has a different weakness to Ho-Oh. So against Lightning decks, you use Reshiram, and against Water decks, you use Ho-Oh. So it is actually quite nice to give you those options to cover your weaknesses. And in terms of burn at the moment, we've got some tricks coming out. Well, a Volcano Park is a great little stadium saying that actually, if your opponent flips heads for burn, they're still burned. So this is a good little trick you can do. Try and make your opponent have to overextend for things like Field Blower. And even then, it's not going to be terribly good. Because the thing is, right, let's say for argument's sake, they have a Field Blower straight away. You burn them. Well, a Volcano Park says it doesn't matter what you flip, you're still burned. Then after their turn, they have to take the burn damage. And then they can flip and get out of burn. So it will guarantee two turns of burn damage, which is quite nice. And of course, let's not forget our old friend Infernape, which means that burn does 60 between turns rather than 20. And now, if you're playing all of this, this is actually a pretty good attack. The attack does a base 170, and then if they don't get out the active, they're taking another 60. Now it's starting to look quite good. But you need a stage 2, and you need to have the stadium. But I do like the GX attack very much indeed. Vermilion GX, according to Autobot Tesla, when you use this attack, you may attach up to five basic fire energy from your hand to your Pokemon in any way that you like. This, this is why you use Reshiram over something like Ho-Oh. Because you can use Kiawe, then you use this GX attack, and Lord knows Ho-Oh's GX attack is terrible. No one, I think, has ever used it in a game. And then, of course, you can attach all the energy with Reshiram. And you might be thinking, well, hang on a second, Ross. How are you going to get all this energy in your hand? Flint! Flint lets you search your deck for four basic fire energy and put them into your hand. So first you use Kiawe to get Reshiram going. Then you use the GX attack, which I haven't even mentioned yet, does a flat 180. So 180 is already enough to KO something like a Tapu Lele or a Drampa. And then you attach a Choice Band and you're doing 210, which will get either a Zoroark or a Buzzwall, which are the two best Pokemon in the format at the moment. Yeah. This is a great, great GX attack. Because if you can pull this off in the same turn you play Flint, then turn one you use Kiawe. Turn two you use this GX attack, take two prizes, while attaching four energy to a Ho-Oh, so even if your Reshiram goes down next turn, you've got a Ho-Oh ready to go, and if your Reshiram doesn't go down next turn, you can still hit for 110 plus burn. The first attack here is risky because you leave it in the active for your opponent to just get a hit on you. The second attack doesn't really do enough energy to justify using a Kiawe to accelerate energy to this rather than a Ho-Oh. But the GX attack here pretty much gets a one-hit KO on a GX of your choosing. There are a few that will escape your wrath but not if you use Volcano in EX. So let's say there is something like a Gardevoir, you're only hitting 210 with a Choice Band, but a single Steam Up from Volcanium will put it up to 240. So this GX attack, I expect you to get an a KO on any GX that you like, and you're accelerating energy up to five, but if you use a Flint, you should be able to guarantee four. So it's essentially like using a Kiawe while getting a one-hit KO on a GX. And a GX attack that lets you take two prizes while getting a Kiawe effect is absolutely nuts. And this is why you play Reshiram. The second attack becomes a nice bonus that you will use here and there. It will get a KO on a Golisopod. 
and it will get a KO on a bunch of non-GXs. Something like a Greninja will fall because of the burn damage. So actually, yeah, the second attack isn't great. But as soon as you take two prizes with the GX attack, anything else is a bonus. Once you've set up your Ho-Oh, while doing damage and taking two prizes with Reshiram, any other attack is a bonus. Just taking two prizes, giving up two prizes, and then being four to four prizes while having a completely fresh Ho-Oh ready to go. That in and of itself is a great position to be in. So you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I am a huge fan of this particular Reshiram, but only because of the GX attack. If you're not using it for the GX attack, it's not great. First attack, don't love it. Second attack, don't love it. But the GX attack becomes so good that the card as a whole sees play. And honestly, now in Ho-Oh decks, and Ho-Oh decks are one of the best decks in the format, Nowadays, I see the starting play as use Kiawe onto Reshiram, use a Flint, and then use Reshiram to take two prizes while building up a Ho-Oh, and then basically you should be in a great position to win the game from there. For that reason, I am giving Reshiram four Wossies. Although, as soon as I say it, that sounds low, and I think I might regret that. The thing is, two of the attacks here are pretty bad. The first one just isn't leaves you too vulnerable second one's too expensive but the gx attack here is so good and works so well with stuff like ho -Oh that i've got to give it four wassies while feeling guilty that i should have given it higher but as with all of these cars ladies and gentlemen what makes it fun is your opinion so let me know in the comment section what do you think about this do you think the gx attack with kiawe will see play let me know go nuts but be nice. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and so on, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio, which is where you can do that. And do check out my video game slash Dragon Ball Super channel, Wossy Plays, for some fun action over there as well. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.